I'm Danusha and welcome to another podcast by Insight Website Design. Now, uh, I hope you guys are having a good day today. Uh, I sure do. You know, I just realized uh, this is a podcast, not a video conference. So there's no way for me to know how you are doing today. Although, you can use the comments. You can uh, go to uh, insightwebsitedesign.com slash blog and uh, leave your comments there. Yeah, I know, I'm plugging my blog again. What can I say? The dude does that every chance he gets. So, I don't know. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to uh, show you a solution to one of the problems uh, with progressive video download files or progressive I guess uh, audio files as well but uh, now uh, a progressive download video is basically a video uh, file where you don't have to wait till the entire video gets downloaded to play it so basically uh, while the video is being downloaded it will automatically stop playing uh, let me sh- show you a quick example here. Here we have a sample video. I'm just going to go ahead and play this real quick. And uh, you see my progressive uh, bar or the seeker bar. Uh, it's still downloading. It's not even halfway downloaded yet. But it right off the bat, it started playing the video. And this is how a progressive video should play. A portion of the movie gets downloaded while it's uh, it, it stopped playing. Let's go ahead and pause this here real quick. Now, uh, there's a problem. If you use, um, say, in my case, Adobe's uh, Adobe Media Encoder or any of uh, other uh, third-party video encoders out there, and you're encoding your videos uh, with uh, H.264 codec and uh, you're either using a move container, a .mov file, or a mp4 container, a .mp4 file, and say you encoded the video and you upload it to your website, and you try to play that, or you try to uh, progressively stream your video through your custom flash player, what happened is uh, you have to wait until the whole movie gets downloaded to your computer before you start playing the video. Now this only happens if you try to uh, stream it through your custom flash player. If you're trying to uh, try to access a file directly, it, work, it, it plays fine. Or if you try to, uh, if you're using Flash Media Server, it works fine. It just do its uh, progressive download. But if you're trying to stream it through your custom flash player, therein lies the problem. And uh, let's see, now the problem is what I found out on each video file, there's a, a header for the video file. And in, uh, in QuickTime movies, this is called uh, a Move Atom. M O O V. A T O M, a move atom. So what happened is uh, when you encode your video files in uh, in Adobe Media uh, Encoder or uh, any other third-party encoders, they place this move atom instead of putting it on the top of the video files right before the first frame of the actual movie. They, for some reason, put it on the bottom part of the video. It's a little bug. Uh, with these encoders, so uh, that's why you have to wait till the whole movie gets downloaded before you actually uh, try to play it. Uh, now, there's uh, there's two solutions I found online that works uh, that works great, and you you do not have to re-encode your entire video library. If you have like a lot of videos up there that have the same the same problem, uh, this is a pretty quick and easy solution. 
uh, let's see one we have um, this uh, Adobe uh, Air application I found it's called QT index swapper as in QuickTime index swapper so if you have uh, if you have your affected files which you can run those through the QuickTime index swapper uh, application and it will reposition that move atom from the bottom part of the video to the header top part of the video now the problem with that is uh, this application only support mp4 files if you have a move container dot uh, move file it doesn't work now uh, I found this real simple solution that really works wonders for me um, basically it's you're using your QuickTime Pro player let me show you uh, how that works so if you have like a move file that work this will this will work great just gonna open this up uh, my sample video here basically what we do is say this is your infected file this is the one with the header information on the bottom part of the video all you do is just you're gonna do a regular save as and your QuickTime Pro and we're just gonna uh, save this as a save as a self-contained movie and I'm just gonna give this a name so we're basically saving a file that's already being, sa already being saved I'm, uh, I'm just gonna give this a name and it's gonna resave my file again now what happens when you do the resaving is it's the, uh, the QuickTime recognize that the header information is somewhere else other than the top part of the video it just grab that portion of the header uh, which is the move atom and it will automatically reposition the move atom where it belongs which is where uh, which is on the top part of the video so when you do the save as portion and um, save the file it will actually uh, move the header part where it belongs and fix that problem so there you go if you have a move file you can use QuickTime Pro to reposition your move atom information or if you have a mp4 file you can go ahead and use this custom application I just mentioned which is a quick T, uh, a QT index swapper and I will provide a link for you down here so you can go ahead and uh, download and start using it uh, using the application so there you go a quick and easy solution to another problem now if you found something else out there that works uh, better than the two methods I described here go ahead and you can leave comments at of course uh, inside website design.com slash blog and um, let me know if this works for you I know this works for me pretty good I try with different uh, file variations they all seem to work fine so there we go that's it for today's podcast and I hope this helps especially if you're looking for a solution for your progressive download video files all right i guess i will see you on another podcast